Good morning, Paul and Drigo here, Toronto Real Estate Unfiltered. So for a lot of you guys, fellow parents uh, in the room and caregivers, it is March break in Toronto. So here's how you know March break is going really well, is count how many times your kids have said to you, Mom, Dad, I'm bored. If they've said that at least twice so far over the last couple days, you're doing a great job. Uh, in fact, if you can get them to say that five days this week, I will gladly stop by and bring you a bottle of wine as my reward for doing such a great job parenting. So here's my logic behind it. And after I'm done telling you this, I'm on the road right now. Uh, for me, it's still a work week. Uh, I know for a lot of you, you have to adjust your schedules. and um, But obviously, there's uh, still work to be done. Lots of people looking for properties. Just showed a house uh, this morning. Uh, in the beach area and also in the Danforth area and we've got a couple other appointments booked today. But most importantly, how you know you're doing, you're being a good parent, especially this week, is you're forcing your kids to use their imaginations. So here's something that's going to probably come off as a little bit controversial. But in school, I don't think they have the opportunity to daydream. Now, it's important that they learn certain things and there are certain skills in school that you know kids need to learn and I agree they do. But I also think that there is not really a focused emphasis on daydreaming and coming up with things to do when they're bored, using their imaginations. I don't think there's a class in that. So that's something that we as the parents, caregivers, grandparents, even uncles and aunts out there, just anybody that's around kids, um, you know, rather than have the structure, which is, again, what school offers them is structure, there's also a very important part of life where there is no structure. Because once school is over, and this is a huge discussion matter, I've, I've got into very deep discussions about this, once school is over and the structure is sort of removed, um, a lot of people go, they drift off to the side. They just cannot cope. They spent all these years in these classes but not really understanding what it's going to be like when the, the strings are cut, so to speak, and you're, you know, sort of on a, on a different schedule and you're, uh, you're not getting marks, uh, you're, you know, you're, <laughs> um, you're focusing on surviving and thriving. And now this is a really important thing for me, for, for us to do this for our kids, it's essential. It's not something that anybody can uh, make you do, but I really hope this week that, yes, sure, plan a couple things. I, I've actually got um, a top five list that I've come up with for you guys, and I'm going to share that with you once I'm done here. But at the same time, spend maybe a day, and this, and this is actually one of the top five. Number five, I actually say that, you know what, for one or two days this week, and, and maybe even more, just don't plan anything. For some of you, your weeks, and, and I know lots of parents that are in this position where uh, you've got two kids and there's three hockey practices and there's four gymnastics and there's six music lessons and there's all this stuff. And, and the weeks just, they just sound, again, just so overwhelming. And, and I know from my, my, from my kids telling me what some of their friends tell me, um, some of their friends tell me that, again, these kids are exhausted. They're, they're kids there, you know, again, I, I remember growing up, yes, being involved in sports, and I think it's great to be in activities. It's, it's great for socializing, but uh, you're not going to be cre creating any, you know, uh, world class athletes by uh, burning them out before they're even in grade eight. I don't, uh, I don't see how that's going to happen. For me personally, um, it wasn't until I was in high school that the the sports spark sort of happened for me. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not going to push my kids. I'm going to give them every opportunity to try new sports. And they have, they've, they've tried curling. They've played basketball, soccer, tennis, uh, doing tennis again this year, swimming, all that stuff. Um, and, and it's all stuff that they've wanted to do. And, uh, of course, anything that they want to get really good at, um, you know, they're going to hopefully go in that direction. So that was, that, that was number five. I'd say just focus on, and, and the saying is, uh, il dolce far niente, and it's actually an Italian saying, and basically it's the sweetness of doing nothing. So for the for number five, that's the one I want you to focus on. Two or three days this week, just plan nothing. Hopefully, you've got a library near you. Uh, take the kids there, have them pick two or three books, the things they want to read. My son said to me, uh, well, or said to my wife last week, he said he hates chapter books. He hates the way that chapter books are, are written. But when we went to the library, he was able to find certain 
certain books that were written in a way that really appealed to him. So he's got two books this week that he wants to read. So find what your kids want to read that isn't school related, that doesn't feel like a, 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 a task, and see if you can find that book because that's such a big thing. There, there is to me the the the, the joy of reading, which again um, I probably read more ebooks and listen to more audio books than I do uh, actually hardcover books. But that's not the point. It's still the written word on some level. It, it, it's still to me, it's still very magical, very powerful. So that's number four. That's number five. Uh, number four would be to uh, take advantage of for your kids that are under 12, and of course the ones that are over, it's fine too, but for the kids that are under 12, the Go Train is now free for them. So if you've got kids, uh, even if there's one older, one younger, it doesn't matter if they're both over 12, the point is um, look at the Go Train map. Pick a location on there that's within about an hour or two and uh, let the kids plan a day trip. I, I, I think there's something really important to be said about um, exploring your, your own city and getting to know it. I, I, I had the pleasure of doing that when I was growing up with relatives in, in all different parts of, of, uh, of Toronto and Scarborough, in North York, in Richmond Hill, in, a, in Oakville, in Etobicoke, all these places. And I spent a lot of time there as a kid and I really... Um, I really look back at that in, in, in good favor because now when I'm in those areas helping people buy and sell houses, I've also got stories to tell them about that. So in my particular kit p- position, it's good. But just getting to know your own province. Uh, there's a bunch of people I know that have been out of the country more times than they've been in the country. So they haven't traveled like, you know, no road trips, none of that. For me, road trips is absolutely the, the preferred method of travel. Um, nothing is better. Uh, it's not it's not always um pleasant. It's not always peaceful, but it's always a good time. I always enjoy it. So that's number four. Number three, um, try out some new places. One of the really amazing places that's on the Danforth, uh, Danforth and Victoria Park, it's a place called Looking Glass Adventures. It's the premier escape room in the city of Toronto. Um, Christine, the owner of the property, is an absolute just master about setting this place up and making it a really fun adventure. Um, they're right across the street from the Lowe's at Danforth and Victoria Park. You can't miss it. So um, uh, book a time to visit her and, and, and the place. And, and again, I promise you, uh, I filmed a video there last year. I did a podcast um, and it was just phenomenal. And I've sent a bunch of my clients back ever since. Um, number three, just down the street from there at Danforth and Woodbine, which is sort of the heart of, of, of the neighborhood that I live in um, is the Virtual Experience Arcade and Lounge. And if you've never tried VR arcade games before, oh man, you, you, you've been missing out. Even simple games turned into VR is, is an absolute game changer. So uh, head down there and, and try it out. Now also with them, because they're again one of my very strong supporters, I've actually got a 21 minute trial card that I can offer to you. All you got to do is connect with me, uh, even email paul.indrigo, I-N-D-R-I-G-O at c21.ca. Uh, hook up with me, connect with me on that, and I'll make sure that you get your pass to try it out. Um, you'll try it once, and I promise you, your, yourself, even you know, even grown-ups and kids alike, um, you'll, you'll, you'll just absolutely love uh, everything about that. Uh, the next thing is uh, number two. I would I w- uh, on that list. I would add as the um, as a visit to the reference library. My son has absolutely just fallen in love. This is the reference library at Young and Bloor. Um, he's fallen in love with this place. He'll ask to go there after school. He has to go there on the weekends. Uh, for me, I've turned it into a, a sort of a, a reward thing. Again, he just loves the fact that he can roam around these five floors, uh, books and resources, computers, the 3D printing lab, which he absolutely loves. Uh, and it becomes sort of the place where, okay, that's fine. We'll head down. We'll, we'll do our 30 minutes to an hour of homework that we need to do that day or reading. Um, and then after that, he's free to roam around and he just loves that place. So that's, uh, that's number two of, of the five. Um, and the last one was basically to, um, sorry, uh, it was, uh, the, um, the, sorry, the five of them that I had was the, the go train experience to try that. Um, the virtual arcade looking glass adventures, uh, I, I, I basically a day, a day for doing nothing. Uh, and then also they're doing some, some free stuff at, uh, certain places like Eglinton Square. They're also doing, um, you know, like little mini day things that you can, um, 
uh, bring the kids to an experience like science labs and things like that. So that's another, uh, again, one of the five things that you can do. And those are just sort of the things on my list. If I can't think of anything this week um, and, and the kids want to do something, those are the five sort of that are, are, are at my disposal. But again, most importantly, enjoy yourselves. And if you're hopefully looking for a new property, if uh, uh, having the kids home makes you realize that the house is a bit smaller than you think, um, this is the ideal time to make that move, make the equity move from where you are now to a larger place with possibly the same or lower payments. If you want to talk to me about this, I'm doing this right now for some amazing clients and friends uh, in my own area, and we're moving them into a much larger place that has the potential, if you need it, for income. So what, once, once all is said and done, they're actually moving up to a much larger home, but they'll be paying a lower mortgage than they are at their current semi-detached home. So it's a really, really fantastic uh, situation. You, and you don't have to do the traditional thing where you rent it out one way. Um, you can decide to do it another way and do it, do it via my uh, short-term executive rentals program, which I've been doing now for quite a while. Um, and I actually am able to put a lot of my properties on as, as the top choice for um, CEOs, doctors, lawyers. Uh, one of the people that I work with is one of the premier concierges in the, on the planet. Uh, and this person deals with some of the top uh, talent in music and acting, CEOs, doctors. So I have a lot of really great connections for people who are looking for, you know, two or three um, month short term leases uh, and having those properties. And these are exclusives of mine um, that can sort of, you know, give you a little bit of added income in your property with the very best quality uh, of tenants uh, during that time. So lots going on this week. Happy March break. And if uh, you want to talk to me at any point, uh, give me a ring 416-823-2705. Um, text me as well at that number. That's uh, the gra a great way to get started. And hopefully we'll be talking soon. Take care.